What's up guys? Welcome to the Study Guru's Quick Tips. If you're a high school teen who has no idea how to go about writing an essay, or you're a parent of a teen who has no idea how to go about writing an essay, well, this video is for you. I'm going to explain how essays should be structured and what should go in them. And hey, before you get heart palpitations just thinking about writing an essay, I'm here to assure you that it's really not so bad. And with these simple tips, you will come to see that writing a good essay can actually be quite simple. So first of all, there's no point in talking about what should be in an essay before we talk about its structure. I don't care whether you've just started high school or whether you're an emeritus professor at Harvard, essay structure is the same. You need an introduction, paragraphs, and a conclusion. Okay? Every time. Every essay you write, it doesn't matter what subject it's for, it doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter what your essay is about. It always needs to have an introduction, paragraphs, and a conclusion. Because an essay is telling a story. And every story needs a beginning, a middle, and an end. Now let's just dig a little bit deeper into that structure. The introduction to an essay for a high school exam should be incredibly simple. It should only need to be a few paragraphs, and what its job is, is to tell the examiner what the essay is going to be about. What is your essay on and what are the points that you're going to cover? Now on to paragraphs, the meat of the essay. High school essays generally have probably somewhere between three to five, six-ish paragraphs. Seriously, some of my high school essays would only have three paragraphs sandwiched in between an introduction and a conclusion. Now this is a really crucial point. Every paragraph in your essay needs to be about a separate point. So if your essay has three paragraphs in it, then you're making three separate points. I can't stress this enough. Don't be tempted to squeeze two points together, even if paragraph one and paragraph two are related in some way. Keep them separate. You can tell the reader in paragraph two that the point is related to the point in paragraph one, but keep them separate. Your purpose, no, actually your mission as the essay writer is to make the experience as easy and pleasurable for the reader slash examiner as possible. So if you go ahead and write a huge chunk of text with no gaps in it, no one's going to want to read that. So once you've written out each point of your essay in a different paragraph, it's time to write the conclusion. As the name suggests, the point of your conclusion is to sum up your essay as a whole. How is a conclusion any different to an introduction, I hear you ask? Well, a conclusion has a different tone to an introduction. While an introduction tells the reader what they're about to read, a conclusion sums up the essay as a whole. You don't need to go through each point of your essay again, but you need to write a few sentences, honestly just two or three is fine, that sums up the essay as a whole. What was the point of writing all of that? Why should anyone care? Here's a nifty little trick. If you're really stuck on a conclusion, I always like to start it with the first word being overall, this essay demonstrates blah, blah, blah. You don't have to start every conclusion like that, but it's a handy trick to have up your sleeve if you're feeling a bit stuck. So there you have it, essays in a nutshell, because a nutshell is really all you need. If every essay you write for the rest of your life includes an introduction, paragraphs containing one point only, and a conclusion, well, you will make me and your examiners very happy. Hopefully you can see as well how having this rock solid essay structure actually helps you write the essay. It's not just structure for structure's sake. It will actually help you decide what should go in each part of your essay, i.e. it should help you write the content part of the essay. With this bulletproof essay structure, you can tackle absolutely any essay question thrown at you for any subject. All right, that's essays done for the day. That's me done for the day. I'm signing out. But if you have any essay writing tips that you'd like to share, please do in the comments below. I would absolutely love to read them and I know a lot of other students out there would as well. All right, until next time, take care and I'll see you soon.